Well, I made it two, two and a half, almost three years, uh, but it finally got me, finally caught COVID. Uh, this was my first time having it. Thankfully, symptoms weren't too, too bad. Like I think a lot of folks have been saying uh, with whatever this recent strain is, it really just felt like a bad flu, uh, very achy, very congested, nasty cough, the whole nine, etc. But I have been in my CDC recommended isolation for five plus days, uh, have just been getting out the last couple of days, going on walks, just kind of trying to get some fresh air in my lungs uh, and just increase the lung capacity, that's probably not the right term, but just like I was having a hard time with the cough, taking real deep breaths. So hadn't been running, just kind of wanted to ease my way back into it. But I'm now, I think like seven or eight days past my first day of symptoms, still testing positive, still very nasally, still have a little bit of a cough, uh, but ready to go out and try a run and see how it goes because we are only a month away from Rocky Raccoon. So I uh, want to get back into things and do as much as I can. Uh, before the race is here. <sighs> Cheers, y'all. How's it going? We are run and done. Uh, and as you can tell, I probably should have done a quick weather check before I headed out the door. Uh, might have gone with something a little bit more water resistant for today's run. But the weather was nice. I got some fresh new gear for Christmas that I wanted to test out. So I went with my new quarter zip, which is now quite heavy, soaked with water. Rain started about two miles into the run and just got progressively harder through the tail end. Um, in terms of just some, some stats for the run, how the run went, overall definitely a success. As I mentioned, this was sort of an exploratory post-COVID run um, because I wasn't sure how I was gonna be feeling. I've been out on a few walks, everything seemed to be going well, um, but the, the kind of lingering fatigue has been my biggest fear, something I've been very aware of, and something that I've heard from a lot of folks who have gotten COVID is, although the symptoms when you have COVID aren't terrible, aren't the worst, this kind of lingering fatigue can be uh, not quite debilitating, but a real hindrance to your performance. Just you feel great, everything's going well, but then the simplest movements will just get you so tired so quick. I experienced that over the weekend, just doing simple things around our apartment, hoping it's sort of like an exponential recovery that it'll get progressively better and better. And that seems to be the case. Um, here I am post run feeling great. Like I said, sort of an exploratory run. My uh, primary goal was just to hit three miles just go out for a nice easy three mile relaxing slow jog to gauge how I was feeling how I was breathing where my heart rate was at etc with the option to extend it if I was feeling good and that was the case I was very pleasantly surprised that early into the run was just feeling really good snap back into the rhythm no issue with breathing was keeping the heart rate pretty low I do an out and back so there were kind of set uh, spots where I would kind of check in with myself see how I was feeling so a mile and a half would have been the turnaround for three mile run was still feeling really good so I was like okay I can definitely push past this two miles like i said the rain started to come down but i love a good rainy day run so that wasn't going to stop me and again still feeling really good so i was like i'm just going to go ahead and go for six that's really what my kind of like minimum run should be at this point minimum distance run i like to hit at least at least six miles as often as i can so decided to go out for that rain started coming down harder but still feeling really really good hit the three miles turned around to come back Again, all was going well. The heart rate was starting to creep up, um, but hit a bit of a wall at like four and a half miles. Um, and this is where I would say like probably fatigue related, recovering from the illness related, but it was that feeling of overexertion that I'm usually not used to unless my heart rate's peaking at like in the 180s for an extended amount of time. And then I just can't bring it down. Like my body's exhausted and having a real hard time controlling that heart rate. My heart rate wasn't that out of, a, out of control, but was certainly climbing in like the 160s. And I've talked about that through this training block. My heart rate's been harder to control, I think just because I'm not in as good a shape as I used to be, uh, as I was earlier this year when I was running a lot more consistently. And it's something I've been trying to kind of hone back in, um, is just improve that fitness level. But again, just been having a really hard time with consistency this training cycle. So I wasn't too surprised that I saw that climbing up was trying to keep it below. Uh, originally, I was trying to keep it below 150, which I did pretty successfully for the first half of the run. For the second half, trying to keep it below 
below 160 and around that four and a half mile mark I was dancing right around 160 and just had that feeling where like you hear your heartbeat in your ears something that lets me know like hey body's pushing pretty hard so eased off quite a bit took some walking breaks to try to relax recover which seemed to do the trick um, it only lasted for maybe a half mile maybe a little bit more and the final mile certainly wasn't easy but was feeling a lot better than I was in that moment so uh, just a helpful reminder I'm certainly not out of the woods overall the run was a, a smashing success it did exactly what I wanted it to do I got in the miles I got up moving again but most importantly got a feel for sort of where my body's at in terms of recovering from COVID um, and feeling pretty good. So just gonna keep up with kind of these distances, ease back in throughout this week and hopefully get on a more consistent training schedule into next week. But all that being said, I mentioned we are only a month out from the uh, Rocky Raccoon 100 miler. I know that means just a few weeks of training before I really should be thinking about beginning that taper. So not a lot of time to put in a lot of physical effort uh, and i'll probably talk more about this in future videos but if i'm being honest i've been trying to just do a lot of reflection leading up into this race because i think with these ultra marathon endurance efforts being in the right physical space is important but it is equally if not sometimes i think more important to be in the right mental space and just to mentally prepare for what this challenge is going to be um, i've talked about in the past with our mohican 100 mile challenges the first year we went in way too cocky, I think, coming off of an incredibly successful Bandera 100K as our first ultra marathon where everything kind of went off without a hitch. And I think went in expecting to struggle, but expecting to handle the 100 miles no problem, um, which obviously blew up in our faces, went out too fast and fell apart. Um, then last year uh, in this past June, going out, taking it out again. It went so much better. Training fell into place. We went in uh, um, much more conservatively with our pacing. Um, I think much more humble going into approaching the 100 mile. Went really well, but I also think went into it not 100% committed. Just wanting redemption from the previous year, but not like I'm gonna finish no matter what. It was more, I wanna do this again because I want a more fair, I wanna put more of an effort in, give myself a more fair shot at actually finishing it. And went really well. So that brings us into Rocky Raccoon, um, where I think I am much more committed to finishing at any cost pushing through the pain, pushing through whatever damage my legs are gonna take in and just doing whatever it takes. Um, and I think part of that is being honest with myself leading up to the race to set realistic expectations of um, what to expect, what's gonna come out of that race. And what I mean by that is, and what I'm saying, like kind of being honest with myself, sort of beating around the bush here, but just to come out and say it, is just accepting that this is probably the least physically prepared I've been for one of these races in a while. Uh, I've talked about it a lot in training. It's been very inconsistent, a lot of ups and downs, uh, a lot of um, bumps in the road, a lot of detours with illness, injury, what have you, and just haven't been able to put in the mileage that I, I, I would have liked to. The first half went pretty well. I got up to like that 14 mile run, but obviously to tackle 100, you wanna do substantially more than that. Um, and so, I think these next few weeks, again, we'll be just trying to get the consistency up, get in as many miles as I can, probably work in some back-to-back -back long runs so I can kind of hit some mileage goals without trying to push myself to hit like a 20 mile run because I don't think that's realistic for me at this point, um, but just trying to fit in the miles with when I can do whatever I can physically to prepare my legs to handle the torment that they're going to take. So strength training, I think, is going to be a huge focus, even more so probably than mileage over the next couple of weeks, I'm trying to do whatever I can to build up some muscular endurance. So again, in those later miles, as I start to fatigue, hopefully those muscles um, will fatigue a little bit slower, a little bit less quickly, um, so I don't have that soreness, that onset soreness as early in the race. But I think just recognizing and acknowledging that physically this race is gonna be a battle and coming up with whatever strategies, whatever tactics, uh, whatever kind of problem, in the moment problem solving I can figure out um, to just know where I need to go mentally during those pain points, during that darkness, when the issues arise, when it gets painful, what am I gonna do to continue to push forward? And I think that is really gonna be the theme of the Rocky Raccoon for me this year. Again, I will have plenty more to share in future videos, just talking about talking through the mental piece, talking through the strategy, once again, running with my buddy Todd. So we've been talking a lot more about what our strategy is gonna be together for this race. 
So I'll go over that, um, which takes me to sort of the next theme of this video, what to expect from the channel over the next coming weeks um, as we reflect on 2022, moving into 2023. I'm really hoping to put out more content, uh, up the frequency of the content in the coming weeks, which means probably more videos like this, less formal, kind of shorter, more raw in the moment videos, just quickly talking through some things. So look forward to that, plenty of stuff to come. One big one, we are in dry January. It's usually uh, something that I really like to do each year. I think it's an important way to kind of, for myself to reset, not just going dry, going sober for the month of January, but setting some significant goals in terms of like physical fitness, mental hit fitness. Uh, I think diet's gonna be a big one for this year as well. Haven't fleshed all of that out yet uh, with being sick at the end of the year, just didn't have as much time to kind of put in the research or kind of identify, hone in the goals that I'd like to work towards this January. But that'll be an upcoming video going through the full uh, dry January protocol. I have been sober. Obviously I've been sick, so there's been no interest in enjoying alcohol, but gonna continue that as well as some other goals that I'll set myself uh, throughout the month. Other videos coming out, apart from it being dry January, we are into the new year. 2023 so i want to go through my full race calendar of everything that i have scheduled first race uh coming up with rocky raccoon in february i've got four uh, races on the calendar so far including a big one in the fall that i'm excited to announce so i'll have that full video a little bit later uh, i've got to uh, introduce the trail shoes that i picked up for rocky raccoon fresh new pair of trail shoes for this race that i'm very excited about and i'm also hoping to host a live video with myself and my wife the woman behind the camera at all of these races to talk through her thoughts on me pursuing another 100 miler attempt, especially after I promised after Mohican uh, that that would be my last one for a while. So look forward to that more to come uh, announcing the official time, but a lot of excitement starting the year. This is uh, one of my favorite times of year. I think just the holidays at the end of the year leading into the start of the new year, an opportunity to start fresh, let the rain wash off everything that's gone on in the past and just set some goals for yourself moving into the new year. So excited to work through some of that now that I am off the couch and feeling a lot better uh, and just looking forward to a fantastic 2023. So thank you as always for tuning in. If you don't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Stick around for plenty more videos to come. Please give the video a thumbs up to help other folks find it as well. And until next time, I'll see you around. Cheers.